Hey guys, welcome to today's yoga flow. So in today's class, we're going to be focusing on more upper body and arm strength. So there are going to be arm balances in today's class. So it really is more of an intermediate level, but just keep in mind that you can take child's pose at any time. If you are totally new to yoga, I do recommend doing one of my beginner yoga classes and I will link those in the description down below. So I am trying to do yoga in these pants for the first time and then these slits down the front if you didn't see them in the try on haul that I did, so we'll see how that goes. But with that said, we're gonna start today's practice in kneeling. So we're starting in kneeling, but as always, feel free to take easy pose just sitting in a cross-legged position. From here, we're gonna reach our hands overhead, interlace your fingers, Flip your palms so they're facing up toward the sky and then press your palms up. Stretching here. Try to press through your palms. Start to tune into your breath. Release that grip. Bring your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers, palms together and press your hands down toward the floor while you open your chest. Breathe. Release your hands. With your left arm, we're gonna take shoulder so circles backward. So you're reaching up, around, and back. Reach up. As you get to the top, turn your palm facing backward and bring that hand back around. Three more times. Let's switch to the right, reaching up, around, and back. As you come up, your palm is facing toward your body. Then pick, turn the palm so it's facing behind you, and reach around. Two more. Come back to center, come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes and send your hips back to down dog. Breathe here. Come forward into plank and press back down dog. Inhale plank, exhale down dog. Inhale plank, Exhale, down dog. Two more, inhale plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale plank. Exhale, down dog. Hold and breathe. If you want your legs bent or your knees bent, feel free. If you want to walk out your dog, walk it out. So I'll come back to stillness. Option to take a twist. So ground into your left hand, reach your right hand to hold on to your left ankle and look under your left shoulder. Release from there, ground your right hand. Option to bring your left hand to the right ankle. Look under your right shoulder. And everyone come back to regular down dog. Drop your knees. Bring your feet together, knees wide, and take a wide leg child's pose. Reach your hands forward, reach through your fingertips. Mm -hmm. 
Come up onto your hands and knees. Drop to your forearms for a dolphin pose, Ardha Pinchamarasana. Tuck your toes underneath you like you're sending your hips into down dog, but you're on your forearms. From here, option to start to walk the feet closer to your hands to put more pressure into the upper body. Rock up onto your toes and relax the heels down. Rocking up onto your toes and relax the heels down. Make sure you're pressing through your elbows to keep yourself lifted. Keep rocking back and forth. Two more. And walk your feet back into forearm plank. Hold it here for a moment and drop your knees and relax down to the floor. Bring your hands under your shoulders and bend your knees and come back to down dog. Breathe. From here, come up onto your toes, bend your knees, step or jump forward and bring your hand, feet wide into Malasana. So your knees are wide, toes are pointing out. Bring your hands to prayer, elbows on the inner portions of your legs and press the elbows into your legs, lifting your chest. Breathe here. You can take movement if you like, rocking side to side. Option to stay here or option to take a twist in Malasana. So holding your right hand onto your left ankle and opening the left arm up to the sky. So you're pressing your right arm into the right leg gently to open that leg a little wider. If you're in the twist, come back to center and switch sides. Left hand holds onto your right ankle, right arm reaches up to the sky, gentle pressure with the left arm into the left leg. Breathe. If you're in the twist, come back to Malasana, hands together in prayer, press the heart open. And from here, bring your hands to the floor. Start to straighten your knees into a forward fold, Uttanasana. Option to put your hands underneath your feet so your fingertips are going toward your heels and your toes are at your wrist crease. Come up to flat back here, pulling the tailbone back, reaching through the crown of your head, and then fold forward into the forward fold. Hold and breathe. Try to rock your weight slightly forward in your toes. If you have the hands under your feet, bring them out. And one vertebrae at a time, roll yourself up to standing. Reach your hands overhead, elongate your body and bring your hands back to center. I almost not doing the plan. Breathe. Bring your feet together. Move through your vinyasa, reach your hands overhead. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Come up to flat back and step back to plank. Drop your knees or stay high and lower chaturanga. Come up to up dog. And back to down dog. Breathe. Bring your left foot to the center line and step your right foot forward between your hands. Drop your back knee, untuck your back toes. Bring your hands to the inner portion of your right leg for a lizard pose, Uttantri Stanasan. Bring your foot out wide so your heels pointing in, toes pointing out. 
Starting up onto your hands, pressing through your palms. Breathe here. Option to stay here or come onto the forearms. Feel that line of energy from the crown of your head through your tailbone, keeping the spine straight. You're on your forearms, come back up onto your hands. Bring that foot back to the center line. Bring your hand around to border the foot. Tuck your back toes and straighten the back knee. Lift up to crescent. Bring your hands to prayer. And take a twist to the right. Left elbow goes to right thigh. Press through your palms. Lift your body and twist. Breathe. You can look to the right, up to the sky. Either stay here or option to open the arms, bringing your left hand to the outside of your right leg and opening the right arm to the sky. Breathe. Come out of the twist, border your hands around your foot go through a vinyasa, step back to plank, lower to chaturanga, either on your knees or up on your toes, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, breathe. Bring your right foot to the center line, step your left foot forward between your hands, drop your back knee, untuck those toes, Bring your hand to the inner portion of your left foot and walk that leg out for lizard pose, Uttan Prasthanasana. Stay up in your hands and breathe here. Press through your hands, lifting your chest. Either stay here or option to go down onto your forearms. Feel that line of energy from your crown to your tailbone. Here on your forearms, come back up onto your hands. Bring that left foot back into the center line. Bring your hands around that foot. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and lift up into crescent. Bring your hands into prayer at heart center and twist to the left, right elbow to the outer left thigh. Press through the right hand, pressing the palms together to twist. Keep the back knee straight and lift in and keep pressing through the right elbow to keep yourself lifted in this twist. Either stay here or option to open the arms, bringing your right hand to the outer portion of your left thigh and opening the left hand to the sky. You can either be flat on your palm, palm or lifted up onto your fingertips. Come out of the twist, bring your hands around the right leg and step back into plank, lower to chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, breathe.
From here, drop to your hands and knees and sit back into kneeling. So we're going to come into crow pose. If you've never done crow pose before, I'll show you how you can kind of start to work into this posture. So you're going to be on your toes and your knees are going to be wide. Your hands are going to be on the floor and your elbows are going to be bent. So your knees are going to be in the tricep, so the upper part of your arm. So that's where they're going to rest. So you lift your hips up and you're kind of putting the knees in the tricep kind of really high up into your armpits, okay? If you've never done it, I would just rock back and forth from here, putting some weight into your hands and rocking back. Putting some weight into your hands and rocking back. If curl pose is in your practice, then go ahead and move into it. Everyone come out, relax your knees down, sit back, knees wide, and sit back into a child's pose. Start to walk your hands back up. Either stay with crow pose or the crow pose preparations. If side crow is in your practice, moving into side crow. Coming up onto your toes, twist your knees over to the left, hands down on the mat. You're gonna be bringing your right leg is going to be on the left upper arm. Moving into side crow, hold and breathe. Relax down, twisting to the other side, knees face to the right, bringing the left leg onto the right upper arm. And relax down, bring your legs forward. If you were doing regular curl pose, meet us back in kneeling. Let's just take some wrist rolls, one direction. Put the fingers in, in a fist, and then the other direction. Reach one arm overhead for a tricep stretch, so bend your left elbow, hold on with your right hand, stretching here. Either stay here, option to reach behind your back for a full clasp. Clasping your fingers together. Breathe. Release out of there. Reach your right arm up, bend your right elbow. Hold on with your left hand and pull that arm down and back. Feeling a stretch in your right tricep. Either stay here or reach behind your back with your left hand to do a grasp and open here. And release. Out of that posture, keep your Knees together for a regular child's pose as you reach forward. From here, start to walk your hands over to the left for a side body stretch. Sit back into your right hip, feeling the stretch along the right side of the body. Walk your hands over to the other side. Over to the right, sit back into the left hip, feeling the stretch along the left side of the body. Walk your hands back to the center. Relax your forehead on the mat and bring your hands behind you, palms facing up. 
and rest the head here. From here, bring your hands forward, start to sit up and move onto your stomach. You could lower down through like a mini modified chaturanga. Come up into Sphinx Pose, so go onto your forearms, press through your elbows, lift your chest. Look forward and breathe. Lower back down to the mat. Come up into Sphinx Pose again, or option to come up into a full cobra. Go onto your fingertips, press through your fingertips. Press into your full cobra, slight bend in your elbows. Lower back down to the mat. Come up onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes and send your hips back to down dog. Come forward into plank, either drop your knees or stay high and lower yourself slowly to the floor. Bring your left hand out to the side, tent up onto your right fingertips and you're just going to roll gently onto your left side, place your right foot behind you and you should feel a gentle opening in the right, I'm trying to keep my right and left in the left chest. Sorry guys. Relax out of there. Straighten out your right arm. Tent up onto the left fingertips. Gently roll onto your right side, placing your left foot behind you onto your foot. Feeling a stretch across the right pec. Come back to center. Press back up onto your hands and knees. Cross your legs behind you. Sit down and gently roll one vertebrae at a time to lay on your back. Keeping your knees bent for a moment, just relax your arms with your elbows bent out into a T and just rest here. Just feeling how it feels to lay on your back. Go ahead and bring your hands down at your side. Straighten out your legs for Shavasana. Tuck your shoulders underneath you to open your chest. Maybe give your arms a little shake and let them rest. Give your legs a little shake and let them rest. Feel the weight of your head on the earth. And scan your body for any areas that feel tense, any areas that you need to soften and relax. We'll rest here together for a few minutes.
start to bring your awareness back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Reach your arms overhead, stretch and elongate your body. Bend your knees, keep your right arm straight as you roll onto your right side. Press through your left hand as you walk yourself back up into sitting. Hands up for our heart center. Thank yourself for showing up and doing the hard work today. Showing up is sometimes the most difficult step. It's easy to just do the practice once we're here. It's really just taking the time to show up and do something for ourselves. Thank you for joining me in today's practice. Namaste. Thank you for joining me in today's practice, guys. I hope you enjoy. And honestly, I would give these pants a thumbs up. I thought it was gonna feel weird to do yoga in them. I thought they were gonna be like untying or getting in the way, but they were super comfortable. Feel free to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button right below me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.